Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Citrine Dream Tarot. Aquarius, this message is going to be for you for the week of November 27th. And of course, this message may or may not resonate with everyone. Um, take what does and leave what doesn't. Let's go ahead and get into this. For your overall energy for the week, we do have the Knight of Coins, the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. For your overall uh, message, we do have Nine of Wands, Nine of Coins, Knight of Knight of Wands, and Seven of Wands. And I already have the cards pre-pulled. I will always do that just to save time. But let's go ahead and see about your energy for this week. All right, so Aquarius, I feel like um, yeah. hmm. there's definitely some conflict that's going on um, this week. This could be between, um, I'm just going to throw out some <laughs> people that I'm seeing, but it may not be these. Um, it could be a child's mother. It could be your mother. It could be a mother figure. Um, this could be between a child, someone younger than you, um, a sibling. Um, I even see like if you're in a type of profession or you're just someone who is older, like a, let's say your aunt to a nephew or a niece, or you're a supervisor to someone younger than you. But I do feel like there are some energies of butting heads this week. Um, definitely, I see where things are trying to be resolved, where there is, um, someone means well. Someone is trying to, maybe words are misinterpreted. Um, maybe you've had conflict in the past. It could have been last week or something, um, or a few days ago, or this could be something new that comes up where you're trying to You're really trying to settle things. You're trying to mend things. But I just feel like there are, and I really feel like this could be like sibling, like someone older, someone younger. But anyways, um, I just feel as though, you know, there's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of darts thrown at each other, words thrown at each other, emotions. Um, and a lot of this may not be, something that's verbalized. It may be something that you're internally carrying. So, you know, this could have happened at Thanksgiving. Family said something to you that really rubbed you the wrong way. You may have shared this information with someone and it got back to them. Or this, you're sharing this information with maybe your therapist and it's really like eating you up inside. Um, and you're secretly at war with this family member and they don't know or this friend or whomever or this could be like a job role but there is something that is going on some type of conflict something that you know you guys could be fighting um and it's really leaving you exhausted it's leaving you um mentally drained a lot of just, you're just dealing with a lot of emotions. You're really thinking about a lot. You're taking to heart everything that was said, everything that <clears throat> was done to you. You really feel persecuted. You feel, um, even if this was like a battle or something, like maybe you were fighting for a position and you may have gotten that positioned, um, you still feel guilty for everything. There is definitely some type of guilt, some type of hurt, some type of um, something that was done. Some, there is going to be emotions that run high this week, for sure. 
um, a lot of feelings and um, a lot of arguments. It may be silent battles, may be loud, very loud. Um, but I do feel like, you know, in the midst of everything, you know, someone's going to have to walk away. Spirit is asking that you walk away um, and mend this with yourself first. Find some type of peace and freedom from this situation. Um, and it may be difficult because this person may be hot-tempered. You may be hot-tempered. Um, you know, you might find yourself having to fight alone at this time um, or deal with it alone because you trying to mend things is not really, it's not going to happen with this person. Um, this person is just who they are. They're stubborn. They may not, you know, take your peace offering. They may not see that you're trying Um they may just try to start more arguments, more confrontation. So I do feel like, you know, at this point, walk away and let them argue with themselves. Let them fight their own battles. Like, put it in your mind, peace, I'm moving on, and I'm going to let you fight your own battles. If you're mad at me, you're going to just stay mad at me until you work that out with yourself. It seems like it's something personal. It has nothing to do with me because on my end, I wiped my hands clean. I forgave myself. I forgave you. And I'm trying to move on. And you're not taking my offer. You just want to continue to come in with arguments. So, yeah, you fight that battle yourself. Um, so I do feel like that's what's going to go on this week, Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> let's get another clarifying card. Um, let's get an oracle message for advice for this week dealing with this <clears throat> Holy Spirit give me advice for Aquarius dealing with this for the week of November 27th what advice do you have for Aquarius for the week of November 27th <clears throat> we have time to take time take I'm sorry <laughs> take time to breathe out definitely you need to sit in silence with these emotions and offer some type of peace for yourself, for them, you know, come with a peace offer, offering of love, trying to mend things, but Holy Spirit, what other advice do you have for others? could be dealing with the water sign as well. And a fire sign. Anything else, Holy Spirit? That might just be your only message, okay? A new start is coming, so just move on from this. Yeah, don't, don't let this harbor in your heart. You just need to take the time, breathe out, relax. Get it out of you. It's okay to feel mad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay. You said some things to them. Let it go. Release it. And let's let's journey on. All right. Aquarius, that is your message for November the 27th. For the week of November 27th. Take care. I will see you guys in the next one.